how do you feel about the way that the adult industry um, portrays women's bodies? Are they better than the mainstream industry? Are we worse? Are we kind of the same? I think that there's a lot of commonality there. Like, I mean, I would say that I think that overall the adult industry is actually better and more tolerant of different body types Mm -hmm. um, than mainstream is. And I think it's, in my opinion, it's specifically because we are selling a form of sexual entertainment. So you, it's like, we have to go in acknowledging that like all people who watch porn aren't attracted to the same one body type. Mm-hmm. Like that would be insane. <laughs> like mm-hmm. that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think that just inherently like, because we are dealing with sexuality and sexual attraction, like we must acknowledge that there's a very wide like spectrum of what folks find attractive. Mm-hmm. And if, if we only shoot one type of body, then we're missing an entire market. We're doing a bad job of, of our business, mm-hmm. you know, cause we want to sell a product to more people. Right. So, but I don't, I don't see Hollywood really doing the same thing yeah. <laughs> at all. Yeah. Like I see, I think it's better now than it was. Like, it's actually kind of insane to me to like, look at just the difference in like representation since over the past like decade and mm-hmm. see that things are definitely getting better, but it's still kind of like, I don't know. I feel like when, when movies come out or even I was at a restaurant last night that was playing music videos on a big projection screen and every single music video had like, you know, the video vixens in it. And at one point I turned to my boyfriend and I was like, why is it like literally like, do they just do a casting call? And like, is it that the only models available all have the same body type or are they intentionally like going, we're only going to cast women with this one body type Mm because everyone looks the same. Mm -hmm. And I was just sitting there going, this is frustrating. Yeah. (laughs) I think also too, like there is a difference in terms of, I don't know, like, so in the adult industry, I feel like it's very much driven by the consumer, right? Like we can see, you know, especially with the internet, we can see instantly, you know, what people react to, yeah. what people are buying, are people buying trans content or people buying BBW yes. content or people buying big butt contact, whatever, all that stuff. We have all that data. And I feel like in the mainstream area with Hollywood movies and with fashion and stuff, I feel like it's the the brands and the studios telling the public what is beautiful. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of pushing like because that's all they're portraying and that's all you're seeing in these big movies and that's all you're seeing on these billboards. And um and in the adult industry, maybe because we're not so out there like the mainstream industry is we don't have billboards. We don't have huge movies that that's everybody's going to see. Like we're smaller and more niche and also kind of you know, kind of like subversive, kind of hidden. Like a lot of people who are looking at porn aren't necessarily advertising it, don't want people to know. But, you know, we have the data. And um, it was just interesting when the internet came along, I think for me, I saw how what we thought people wanted was different than, you know, what they wanted. Yeah. Like, you know, you always thought like they only wanted like blondes, big tits that are like super skinny. But then, you see the data and people are looking for this and then looking mm-hmm. for all kinds of different stuff. So I do think that the adult industry is more inclusive in that way though. You know, we've been slow yeah. to do it. Yeah. Um, but I think we're definitely doing better than, than mainstream. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.